Hey there guys making a winter forecast is obviously pretty complicated, but we've got four different things that we look for year to year. And so I've got this massive spreadsheet that tries to keep track of those four things. Now before we get to that, I want to obviously just kind of provide some real talk for you that seasonal forecasting doesn't necessarily have the skill that a day to day forecast has because a lot of it has to do with theory and it has to do with global patterns. Now, in order to get snow, you guys know that we need two things. We need cold air and we need moisture. So when you're tracking individual storms, it's a little easier to see which one of those we have. But when you're talking about the winter as a whole, you got to look big scale. So let's talk about cold air. What provides that? There's a theory that the amount of activity on the sun's surface can influence that. There's also another theory that how much snow cover in Siberia can influence how much cold air can seep into the eastern US. Now, as far as the storm track, we talk about El Nino a lot and because we're moving into an El Nino storm track is likely going to be more active, but there is a little bit of a complication here and that's how much energy is spent in the tropics. The month of October is crucial when making a winter forecast because we have to see how much snow cover there is and how many more tropical systems there will be. That's why our winter forecast is coming out in November. In studio, I'm meteorologist Chris Michaels, 10 News, working for you.